Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. Last time we made it to Echol and Rosé's workshop after meeting Ada, who was wrongly accused of, uh, I don't know, creating those wooden soldiers. So we cleared her name and met up with the mayor here, and yeah, met up some, with some old friends and everything. So basically, we also found out that there is a resonant stone down in the Wind Cave, so we're going to have to uh, go there and check that out. But first, let's go over here and check this thing out. What do we have? Wow. Ooh, a ruby. Nice. And then we can also go down here and get to another tuning fork. Perfect. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to do some grinding at this tuning fork because we're very, very, very underleveled. But thankfully, there's a pretty easy way to do some grinding. So, that's not too bad. But before we start grinding, I do want to go ahead and grab some new characters. So I'm going to get out of here and meet you in the, uh, castle area where we get the Moonlight Witch characters. I've made my way here. I just figured I'd cut out needless walking and things like that. So there's some new characters upstairs. Hey there. Oh, we need to be somebody that King Alf knows. Hmm. Well, King Alf knows Chris and Yurio, so maybe we could just throw one of them into our party? That might work. Hey there. Uh, sure. Okay, well that was easy. Yeah, I also took out all of the other, um, ocean characters, so Jan and Rick, Una, and McBain, they're out of my party right now. It just makes it easier to gather other party members whenever those guys aren't with you. Oh, hey, it's Morrison. Okay, sure. Awesome. And Alfred himself. Oh, well, perfect. Yeah. Might as well bring you along, too. I mean, got nothing to lose, I guess. But while we're up here, let's go treasure hunting! Yeah, there is one more treasure that we can grab. Right here. We'll get a Sun of Memory number 4, and check it again for a Sun of Memory number 5. So what I'm going to do is go drop these guys off, and then meet you in the Cathedral area where the Vermil Ver Vermilion characters are. And we're at the Cathedral. Oh, hey, it's Mile, right here. Oh, yeah, we kind of know that. Okay, sure, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know, and you're such a good character. Definitely want to have you around. And speaking of really good characters, it's Mitchell himself. Hey, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we can go ahead and grab Mitchell. Then let's go upstairs for another awesome character, Even. Hey, man. A bit like the mother load here. Yeah, it really is. I'm sure you will. Hey, no problem. Okay, so now let's head back to the main teleportation room. Okay, here we are. I put everybody back in my party, and I'm keeping Mile and Mitchell around just for level gaining purposes. And let's check off with this uh, oracle right here. And we have a new shrine that we can go to, the Idun Shrine. So let's head on inside. Oh, there's a bunch of dragons around. Okay, so what you're want to do in here is actually fight these dragons. You don't want to fight it on himself. He will take forever, and he will also suck up a lot of your charms until you're at higher levels. So let's go ahead and go after these guys. You really want to get a preemptive attack against them, but somehow I failed at getting a preemptive attack. That's just lovely. So let's see. Uh, first things first, let's just uh, go after these guys as much as humanly possible, especially these Vidartha dragons. These guys are ridiculous. Una, we're going to have you cast um, Grandel. Oh, she also has a multi-targeting heal spell now that she uh, gained up some levels, so that's pretty, pretty nice. And I guess Jan and Rick can join in the fun as well. Um, if anything, you really just don't want these Vidartha dragons to actually have a turn. They can hit you for over 100 damage. Everybody else, I really don't care about. Those Rabius, they can just um, kind of, I don't know, paralyze, not paralyze, they, they can confuse you, they can poison you, 
and these other guys just cast magic shield all the time so they're really like they're nothing to be concerned about they just make themselves immune to magic who really cares i certainly don't okay yeah these dragons screw them Ugh, they do not get turns i hate them so much they will kill you if they get a turn so do not let that happen unfortunately those other guys um yeah well actually I thought that they would be immune to magic with the magic shield, but I guess it just raises their magic defense. So, yeah. I guess that, uh, Earth spell, Grandel, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So, yeah, just punch these guys' lights out, and then let's have everybody go after the dragon, including Una. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's have you use your roar skill. Let's see if we can't paralyze all three of these guys. Oh! Oh, I got two of them paralyzed! Nice! Yeah, that roar skill is actually so, so good. I don't know why more people don't use it. I think it's like one of the best abilities in the game. I mean, Jan is amazing. Yeah, and then they just sit there and they recast. Oh, you know what? That guy's paralyzed. No, let's go after these freaking hypnovirus guys. If for no other reason, then they're slow as anything because it's cast magic shield on, on each other over and over and over again. I hate them. They just drag out the battle. So... The nice thing about fighting these guys is you don't have to worry about using any charms to kill them. For the most part, they don't even do any damage to you. Like, they literally just sit here. So, yeah, they're, like, not threatening at all. And you can gain up a ton of levels against them. Now, if you went and you f fought a Dun, ugh, I'm sorry for you, because... A dun will slaughter you. It is not fun at all. Um, and you'll have to use like three charms to finally actually like kill a dun. So what I would do is just go through here, fight all the dragons. Then, um, man, we're getting tons of levels. Holy crap. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I would go through here, fight all the dragons, and then go back to the teleporter and um, you will be able to go back to the main area and then redo it as many times as you want to in order to gain up as many levels as you want to. But yeah, look how much experience we got, especially for uh, Forte and McBain, like the real people. Like we got 328 experience in that one battle and they only need 443 to actually gain another level. And we got tons of these books dropped too. So this is a great place to gain up levels. I highly recommend doing that but before i cut out this leveling i just want to show you over here don't fight him thank you another treasure that we can grab son of memory number seven and nothing else so let me do the grinding and then i'll meet you whenever i'm done well i've cleared up all these dragons so now let's go and kill it done now that i've gotten my levels up to where i want them to i believe i'm at level yeah 24 so that works out for me not exactly healed up or anything, but I should be fine as long as my deadly attacks are good to go. So first things first, uh, what I want to do is use the encouragement skill. Also, I learned the endurance skill. This is a self-heal. It heals about 70% of Forte's HP, so that could be kind of nice. Stimulation is a short-range ability. It focuses on McBain and he can actually revive people with it. So that's not half bad, but I also want to encourage him right now as well. Una, since you have the most magical stat, use Earth Charm, and I'm going to have Jan wait. I just want to move him over here, kind of in the center, because he's going to be my healer for right now. And I don't want Adun to get any attacks in. If the Wind Spirits attack, I don't really care. But Adun, screw you. You're not getting in any attacks. I am done with you. Hey, yes, nice damage there. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Yeah, with that attack up and everything, it comes in so, so handy. Woohoo! Oh, Jan and your evasion. I love it. Yeah, those wind spirits, they can deal a ton of damage with their attacks. But as long as they don't gang up with the same person, you should be fine. But hey, perfect. Okay, awesome. Now, let's see. I always want you to attack a dun, you attack a dun, you 
Um, I guess you, well, it doesn't really matter what you do, to be quite honest with you. I guess I could have you, uh, cast Land Bullet on Adun. It's something. You are going to be healing McBain. I really don't want him to die. That would really suck. Okay, perfect. And then I have him ready for his next deadly attack. There we are. Get some nice damage in there. Awesome. Uh-oh, Adun's getting an attack in. I don't want that to happen. The last thing I need for him to do is confuse my entire party. Oh, it would be so bad. It would be so bad. Come on now. Woohoo! We got him! Yes! Adun has a ton of defense. That's why you definitely want to raise your attack power. If you don't raise your attack power against him, you could be really screwed really fast. But as you can see, he doesn't really give all that much experience. So yeah, you're actually better off fighting those dragons out there in the uh, main room. Oh, sorry, it went too fast, but it's the same thing that they say every single time. But we get a Vermilion Orb 40 and a Vermilion Orb 76. Awesome. So yeah, I'll have to do that some more, but not right now. I, uh, yeah, I just want to go back and actually move on with life, move on with the story see what there is to see. You know, go after that resident stone. Apparently, everything's fine in Echol. We could just leave here, right? Go to this wind cave. Maybe we'll actually get a wind attack spell. It's been like, I would say, half... I would say we're past the 50% point of the game, and we still don't have all the attack spells. Like, we're missing, what is it, dark wind and fire? Like, still? What is this, Tales of Eternia? I mean, come on. Like, we really need our attack spells sometime this century. I'm sick of all these buff spells that I never use, especially because I have skills that do the buffs for me anyway. And they're free. I'd rather just do that. Oh, yeah. She almost has too much energy. I don't think that she's cute, and I don't think that she's charming, but whatever you say, Una. Oh, she is rather talented, though. I mean, I'll give her that much. I guess we could perform? What does it matter? Who cares? I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't want to perform here. Whoa, hey, it's Rachel and Shao. Well, what are they doing? Huh. I guess only Jan saw them. Yeah. But they're headed towards the workshop. I wonder what they want up here. What's going on with them? Those two are always up to something. Like, like they always have some scheme going on. Like, like they're so weird. <laughs> I like them, though. They're, they're fun. Yeah, hey there. What's going on? Yeah, why are you guys here? Oh, you guys know Rosé, Rosé too? Oh, it seems that way. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, we were just talking about performing. I don't know why we have to perform, but I guess we could. Grandma? Who's Grandma? Are you talking about Grandpa? Oh, this game. Okay. Yeah, I guess on that bridge thing. I mean, there's no place else that I could think of. Oh, well, thanks. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, how hard could that possibly be? You just drill the holes. Or I guess in this time period, you would take, like, a hammer and a dowel or something, and then just chisel out the holes that way? Or like, pick? I don't know what they used. You think I know how to make a marionette? I mean, come on now. We're not gonna perform specially for you. We didn't perform especially for a king. Why would we perform especially for you? Eh, oh well. Let's get on down here and do this performance. I guess we have to. It's like a butt down must situation. Oh. It's not like this guy owns the bridge. 
could just fish somewhere else. Oh, okay. Huh, for once in our life, we don't have to go around gathering everybody in town. That's, you know, thank God for small miracles, I guess. Something tells me she actually did mean everyone in town. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, here they all are. Oh, yeah, that's us. Hey, Clam. Wow, you're uneducated. Go back to geography class. It's not that far away. I mean, it's kind of the island in the smack dab in the middle of your world. Wow, she really likes us. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Oh. How do you know what songs we're going to play? Yeah, I'll cut this song out. Did you like that? Oh. Really? Get another one? Oh, dancing music. What do you have in mind now? Oh no. Man, she's gonna run us ragged. Okay, and this one I will actually keep in. Pretty cool, yeah. I only kept it in because we actually got to see, you know, dancing. Why not? Oh, well, I'm glad that you guys liked it. Although, Shao and McBain look pooped. Yeah, they're not that young anymore. She's very self-aware for someone so young. Most young people don't say that their energy like is up because they're young. They just, that's the way it always is, you know? That's the only thing that they've known. They don't know what it's like to be old and decrepit and tired. Yeah, well, what's going on with you? Oh man, come on now. Bang Bang is missing. I thought you were playing with Bang Bang in a dark room. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Gotcha. What do you mean he went away? Something tells me that you dropped it. Let this be a lesson. Don't drop your toys. Quit your crying and your whining. Yeah, I guess I don't need to go on this stupid teddy bear to hunt. They're too old for all this. Oh, I think that Jan wanted to rest too. He doesn't want to come help us, but yeah, I guess so. Okay. Oh, why Jan? Like, because of his scent abilities or something? Yeah, pretty much. Shouldn't it just be around here on this bridge somewhere, unless it fell inside the water? That would really suck. Oh, yeah. I guess it's our only friend. Oh, we have to ask all these people in town! Lovely. And all I want to do is go after a resident stone, but we have to search for a teddy bear instead. But can we find it? Find out next time, and let's play the Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.